Hi everyone, Eileen here from the Sweet Poppy Stencil Design Team. I've popped on just to give you a quick demonstration uh, regarding this card, the beautiful Sweet Poppy Stencils Christmas Bell, designed by Emma Cronin. I've used um, Lavinia Stamps Multifarious Cardstock in Cream because it gave me a really lovely tone with the ink that I'd use. More about that in a moment. I did uh, do the card again in white cardstock, and you can obviously use whatever colour you like, but I found that the cream of the multifarious cardstock really enhanced the overall look of the card when I used this colour ink, and that is Memento's Pistachio. And it's, I've just used the one colour, no tones of deeper or paler colours, just the one tones one tone <laughs> right so let's get going then so an a4 sheet of lavinia stamps multifarious cardstock in cream folded it creased it and cut it to 17 centimeters in length by 12 and a half centimeters in width and then i've used one of these uh, corner punches just to round off the edges, I think that it gives it a really nice look for a one layer card. And I, on this, it's We Are Memory Keepers, this one, I use the 10 millimeter um, section. So I've just popped it in, lined it up and then pressed it. And I find using this upside down and not that way round, it's, it's more accurate, quicker and um, and it works first time. Sometimes it doesn't give me a really clean corner when I put the card in on the desk. With this flat on the desk, that's what I mean. Right, so, next. Magnetic sheet, and I've got mine here onto a um, cutting mat, self-healing cutting mat. This is self-adhesive, I've stuck it down. Pop that there. I've got the white copy paper out because I'm using a glass mat as my base and my light really glares. So I've um, put some copy paper down so it won't annoy you, but I can still see what I'm doing. <laughs> right, stencil, where are you? Here it is. Christmas bell, isn't that gorgeous? So popping that down and making sure that the border at the top and the border at the bottom are more or less the same width. So I know that I've got the bell centrally in the middle and uh, it's more or less the same width as the cardstock. So I'm not bothered about the sides. Down, grits firmly, she says, as I move the whole thing. Start again. Yep. Okay. And then I'm using a piece of Sweet Poppy Stencil Stencil Tape to protect the top of my card from any surplus ink flying around and also at the bottom to protect that as well. Okay, off we go. Right, these are new. These are from Sweet Poppy Stencils. Uh, they're the new makeup brushes. I think Lucy is using them predominantly for use with micro powder work. But I found that they're fabulous with inks. And um, I'm just going to use them. It's really because they've got such a dense amount of bristles. And it's a wider area. And the wider area gives you a softer look always. So I'm, I use the bigger brushes. And uh, I'm finding I'm getting very good results with those. So Memento Pistachio. It's all I'm using. Load up the brush and then very gently, starting on the left-hand side, gently, no pressure, circular motion, just kissing the surface of the cardstock, just skimming over. Don't press, no pressure. Right the way down to the bottom of the card and then coming up from the bottom of the bell. And then in from the sides, give it a bit of depth of colour in the side and a bit more on the bow on the left. And then very gently going over, 
and sneaking some colour into that bottom part of the ribbon at the bottom of the bow on the right. That makes sense, hope so. <laughs> anyway, you can see, so tiny amount of colour in there. Stay away from this area. I want to do the middle of the bow though. And then a bit more colour here. And then up from the bottom, so that I've just got the... Um... What's that bonger bit in the <laughs> middle of the bow? Is it a clanger or something? I can't remember. <laughs> oh dear, I put my foot in it now, but I'm sure that... Uh... Listen, it's early Saturday, okay? I've got lots to do. <laughs> well, whatever that is in the middle, don't go over to the right-hand side past that. Just make sure that you ink that up and leave the rest. Right, that'll do, I think. That didn't take long, did it? No. Off we go, lift it up from the mat. Look at that, beautiful. Nice fade out, that's what I'm looking for. Really nice fade out. Okay. Next is stamping. And I'm using a stamping mat, but you can use your stamp press if you wish. And Versafine Claire Chianti. It's a very deep red, sort of a maroon colour. And this is the Noel stamp from Sweet Poppy Stencil's Christmas Noel set. And it's an A5 set. You get lots, lots of different ones in there. Um, look, you've got uh, Christmas words, jingle bells, etc., etc., and you've also got snowflakes, joy to the world. It's a really good Christmas set all round. And, of course, the word Noel, which is what I was using here. So just make sure that's inked up properly. And then taking it down. And I had it across the middle of the, of the, um, of the bell. So I'm going to take it slightly lower this time. And then over. Commit. Gaze out of the window as the ink soaks into the cardstock. It's early in the morning, neighbours are all asleep. But the sun is starting to come out, so that's good. Right, down and up. Beautiful. Not me, the stamp. Right. So, more or less done now. The final thing that I did, and I'll show you the card... The final thing that I did is to take off some of the ink, especially if it, it drifted into areas that I didn't want it to. So now I used one of these erasers and I'll show you what, how I did that. And then I also, I've um, splashed a bit of snow around. So I'll go there and show you that. So say for instance, you came over too far. I found that this multifarious cardstock will allow you to take off um, distress uh, water-based inks, of which this memento is a water-based ink. So I'm just going to take off a bit here and there so that you can give it a distress look, your image, if you want to. And that's what I've done with the original card. It's got a distressed look. But if, of course, you like the smooth look that you get and you haven't gone too far over with your fade out, leave it. Whatever you want to do is okay by me, all right? <laughs> so I have a nice brush as chips from my local do-it-yourself shop oops and I'm just going to brush away all the bits and bobs could do with a little bit more distressing I think I better give you more of uh, information of this this is a Tombow mono sand eraser 
and that's important. It's a sand eraser for ink. And the um, number of this is 512 Alpha, and you'll find them on Amazon. And I bought uh, mine, my originals. I've got about five of these now. Oh, I wouldn't be without them. They are my oh, absolute friends. And uh, I bought my original one from Jackson Art Supplies in London, mail order. But you will find them on, on Amazon. Um, right, so I'm just going to take off a little bit more, a bit more distress. So it gives it a bit of definition. But again, if you find that you like and you're happy with the smooth fade out look that you get from the original inking, then leave it at that. A bit more here. Does it damage the card? Well, yes, of course it does, because it takes off a layer of cardstock. But it doesn't appear to do it any noticeable harm. You know, you've, you've lost a little bit of the card layer. And then I'm going to get the snow and um, that's it. So snow is... Snow is a Posca, Uni Posca pen, a paint pen in white. Bullet shaped, if you've got a sort of a brush tip, they don't really work very well. Bullet shape is good for this technique. I'm going to take a little bit of kitchen towel. I don't want my word Noel covered in snow. So just mask that up. Really good shape here. Just checking that you've got all this in shot. We'll come down a smidge a bit, I think. Yep. And then just whack away. Hold your paint pen at the end. So it does a nice bounce when you're whacking it. And out it all comes. Be careful, you can overdo it. And I've done that many times. There we go. And that's the final card. There's my original. It's a bit greener there. I think I prefer the one that I've just made. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. Have fun. <clears throat> Let us see on the uh, Sweet Poppy Stencils uh, Facebook page how you get on. That would be great. Bye for now. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your weekend.